Stanza by Jill S. Baum, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. Stands a prowl through the streets with his two rotten brothers, annoying and chasing and bullying others. Folks called him bad doggy or flea bitten thug or scoundrel or bonehead or slobbery lug. But one Sturk and Fresco were sleeping at last. Stands a cautiously, silently, slowly crept past to a shadowy space tucked away out of sight where he sat with a pad and wrote poems all night. He wrote of first snowfalls, a colorful bird, the Seventh Street Hydrant, a tune that he'd heard. He wrote tender haiku of earth, sea, and sky, and sonnets devoted to chicken pot pie. He wrote of his true self, a sensitive hound, not a creep who enjoyed pushing people around. And he worried, if Fresco and Durg ever knew, he got goosebumps imagining what they might do. But night after night, Stanza shrugged off his fear. Nah, they'll never discover my stuff way back here. One morning, while Stanza was ripping through town, nipping bottoms and knocking pedestrians down, in his usual reckless, unmannerly way, his attention was caught by a window display. Want to win lots of cash? Does your poetry shine? Make our snappers sound yummy in four rhyming lines. Winners announce here soon. Stanza dreamed of the things he could do with first prize. I'll buy dog food and chew bones and chicken pot pies. No more chasing and stealing and scavenging scraps. No more diving for crumbs from cafe goers' laps. He could hardly believe it. He yipped with delight, and his paw fairly tingled, just itching to write. He scribbled and scrawled, reconsidered, erased. He wadded up papers. He pondered. He paced. He scoured his thesaurus. He struggled for rhymes. He started from scratch at least 82 times. At sunrise, he slipped past his still snoring brothers, past garbage men, dog catchers, kids, and their mothers. He folded his jingle and kissed it for luck. <sniffs> Fit it into the slot. Tapped it through when it stuck. Each morning for weeks, stands a check that display in a casual, top-secret, spy sort of way, always hoping to see his own name in that spot. Then one morning, he did. <gasps> did he win? He did not. Stanza's jingle was posted beside a big two, right under the name of Millie Magoo. There it was, giant-sized, for the whole world to see, including his brothers, unfortunately. Oh, the laughter, the poking, the merciless jeers, the teasing that soon had poor Stanza in tears. What a sissy! A poet? What are you, a cat? No brother of mine would do something like that. Stanza dragged himself homeward, his chin on his chest, feeling worthless, embarrassed, and doggone depressed, till a voice said, This Stanza guy's jingle is great! Stanza stopped in his tracks, and his ears stood up straight. He's amazing! He's funny! His handwriting's neat! Could this be the Stanza who lives on our street? It is, Stanza said, dancing back to the crowd, feeling tickly inside and exceedingly proud. He cha 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 for home with a smile on his face, where his brothers were trashing his poetry space. Say goodbye to your stuff, Fresco boogied with glee. But just then, from the street, came a high beep, beep, beep. A guy asked for Stanza, who signed a receipt and a truckload of snappers was dumped at his feet. Second prize, holy cow, was a one-year supply in the lip-smacking flavor of chicken pot pie. Both Fresco and Derg promptly fell to their knees. Hey, you know we was kidding, right? Share with us, please. We think you're a genius, a rhyming magician. I'll share, Stanza promised, but there's a condition. That evening, the neighbors stood gawking astounded, Quite taken back, flabbergasted, dumbfounded. Stanza beamed at his brothers, his tail swish, swish, swished, at the sight of their talents, at long last unleashed. <clears throat> Snappers, make my tummy happy, make my paws go tippy-tappy, chewy morsels, crunchy bits, life without them is the pits. By Stanza. <laughs>